using slopes to compare unit rates, Lesson 3.3c. We can compare proportional relationships presented in different ways. We can find a greater rate from an equation and a graph. Y is equal to 40x is an equation that represents the distance traveled at 40 miles per hour for x number of hours. Throughout our journey in algebra, we're going to be introduced to many equations, and this is just one of them. y equals 40x is an equation written in slope-intercept form. That's slope-intercept form. It's y is equal to mx plus b. The m represents the slope, and the plus b, that's the y-intercept. So for your notes, this is really important for you to write this down so you understand this equation. Y is the dependent variable. M is the slope of the graphed line. X is the independent variable. And B, this y-intercept, that's where the line crosses the y-axis on the graph. We can compare two rates, one rate given as an equation and the other rate given as a graph to find which is greater. We have y is equal to 3x represents the number of pizzas Bob can eat per hour. The graph represents the number of pizzas Sam can eat per hour. Who eats pizza at a faster rate? It's going to be Bob or Sam. So we're given an equation for Bob and a graph for Sam. Bob's equation is y is equal to 3x. Remember, when the variable is next to a number, that's the coefficient, that means we're multiplying 3 times some number x. We have y is equal to 3 times some number. Well, if x is equal to 1, then y would be equal to 3, because we have 3 times 1 equals 3. We use the equation to make a table for Bob's pizza eating rate per hour. So, this is for Bob. We have our time as our x value and the quantity of pizzas as our y value. So if he has one hour, he's going to eat three pizzas. Remember, we just did the three and the one. That means two hours would be six pizzas because we're going to multiply the x value times three. See, three times the x value. So three hours is nine pizzas. Four hours is 12 pizzas. We use this table to find the slope of the graph for Bob's pizza eating rate. We use each column as an ordered pair then use the slope formula. We've got slope is equal to unit rate, which is equal to the second y value minus the first y value over the second x value minus the first x value. We can use these as our ordered pairs. We've got a 3 for y and a 1 for x and a 6 for y and a 2 for x. So we're going to do the second y minus the first y. So we have 6 minus 3, and the second x, 2, minus the first x, 1, we're going to get 3 over 1. That's our rise over run. That means, when we simplify it, Bob is eating 3 pizzas per hour. Now, we can look at Sam's graph to find how many he's eating per hour. We use the graph to find the slope of the graph of Sam's pizza eating rate. So, we had the points... 3 for x, 5 for y, and 5 for x, 8 for y. We can use a right triangle to count the rise over run. We've got a rise of 3 units and a run of 2 units. We have 3 halves. When we simplify that, it comes out to 1.5 pizzas per hour. We compare their unit rates, their slopes. Bob eats 3 pizzas per hour. Sam eats 1.5 pizzas per hour. 3 is greater than 1.5, so Bob's rate is greater. Bob eats pizza at a faster rate. We had Bob is y is equal to 3x as our equation. In this equation, 3 represents k, the constant of proportionality and the unit rate. The equation can be written as y is equal to kx because that's the slope, that's the unit rate. In a proportional relationship, the unit rate, the constant of proportionality, and the slope are the same thing. When we made the table for Bob's rate per hour, his unit rate was where x is equal to 1. 
we had y is equal to 3x. Well, this is our slope. We can write it over a 1. That was the unit rate. That was the slope. For Sam's unit rate, it was the y value where the x value was 1. So here we have our line, and we look at where x is a 1, and we see where does it hit the y value. It hits it right here at 1 and a half. So Bob's rate per hour was 3, and Sam's was 1 and a half per hour. This means we can actually look at this equation and tell what the slope is because that spot is where m would be. m is the slope. And we can just look at this graph and see where 1 is to find the unit rate. It's where y is equal to 1 and a half. We're finished with lesson 3.3 .3 and we're going to be moving on to module 4. And we're going to be talking about linear relationships. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I hope you join me for Module 4. Bye.